What's happening guys? Today we are getting the Falcon detailed, so before we run and drop it off to my friend Sanan, I gave the inside a clean, and it looks pretty good, so I'm going to show you guys that, because he is only doing the outside. I showed in the previous video that the paint was average, and a bit faded on the bonnet, front guards, roof, and rear quarters a little bit, and there is also a fair few swirl marks in the paint, which is no good. I don't like that. It's going to get the Sanan treatment. It's going to come up real nice and good. And I am super excited for that. And once she's back, we will get stuck into installing the intercooler, which is the exciting part. And um, then it'll be time for a retune, get some numbers, and go to the strip as well. So that's super exciting. I'm super keen for that. But let's show you the inside here. I'll flip the camera around as well and you guys will have a better look at it. So the steering wheel is, you know, very average as Fords are. The pedals I did clean up and they actually came up really nice. Um, I was very surprised with that itself. Gave the dash a good clean because this thing was very, very dusty and the black here, the piano black was, you know, in not great condition. And there was a lot of elbow grease on this centre console here, which you can kind of still see it a little bit, but I'll probably do another clean once it's back. And the uh, interior actually is fairly immaculate. Like, I'm super stoked with it. The front, the back, looks absolutely awesome. I also got a genuine XR floor mat there. Need to find the driver's one, because, yeah. They're obsolete with Ford, so wish me luck with that. But anyway, let's get it to Sanan, and I'll catch you when I pick the car back up. Picked up the car from Sanan, and man, it is looking absolutely pristine. He did a stage two on the bonnet, so there is no more fading or oxidization looking on the paint there, which is absolutely great. The front guards, they're perfect as well. And the roof, man, the roof, what can I say? It looks honestly like a brand new car. It is super glassy, super perfect. You can actually finally see a reflection off more than freaking two centimeters of the roof, which is awesome. The rear quarters here, they came up pretty good, but right on the inside, you know, they're a little bit how you're going, but compared to what it also came out as, Cannot complain with that, that's kind of expected for a 12, 13 year old Ford. As I said, paint's not very great. But everything else came up pretty much immaculate. I'm, I'm super wrapped with it. It actually looks like a respectable Falcon now before. You, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't really nice to look at. Uh, especially in the right lighting. A lot of swirl marks, a lot of fading everywhere. Just your typical, you know, Ford Falcon paint. But what do you do? Get it detailed as best as you can. If you don't like it, you get it resprayed. And we're not going to go down that route. So there is a few stone chips on the bonnet, as you can see there, which obviously detailing and brings up those things. But yeah, as I said, 12, 13 year old car, you're going to get those things. The headlights he did sand down, polish, and ceramic coat. They're not perfect but they are much better than what they are it's just obviously all the stuff on the inside uh, so it looks like I'll probably have to order some new headlights if I want that to change and foggies as well we tried them came up no good but that's all little stuff that we can do later I got new indicators coming from Ford so we can change those over and it will make it look a little bit better itself and uh, yeah that's pretty much it We've got some goodies to show you guys back at the shop, so let's head back to the shop and uh, open them up. It's a few days later, the Falcon's here. The intercooler piping finally came, but the intercooler is here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swap the intercooler, swap the pipe that is actually broken. Um, and then I'm going to take to the drags tonight, whether they'll be in this video or not is another story. I'm not too sure right now, but we're gonna rip the bumper off, fit up the intercooler, which is over here but I'll give you a better view of it and I got two things in that box there if you can't guess what it is I mean the front bar's got to come off for them to go on so 
It's a bit of a giveaway, but you'll have to wait and see it anyway. Um, so let's get it down, let's get it on the hoist, let's pull the bumper off, let's get this intercooler fitted. And yeah. So the front bumper's all off. I've gone and cut this out. I was meant to keep those little brackets there, but I'm just gonna make a little bit stronger brackets that go into these two holes here. Um, and it will stiffen up the top a little bit. That isn't really needed. You do have to cut most of it away anyway, so it's kind of going to be weak and brittle because it's plastic anyway, so a bit of thicker alloy will be much stronger, much better, much sturdier. So I'm going to do that, but the cooler actually has a little lip down here on the Rio, and I've got to cut that. It's probably about maybe 25, 30 mil. You can't really see it on the camera, but I'm going to be cutting that because the cooler is obviously a very big boy. As you can see here, we're going from about 50 mil to about 90, 80, 90. So it's like almost double in size. Um, and the top here, it's almost double in like size lengthwise as well. So yeah, it needs a little bit of cutting, but that's, you know, nothing too major. I'll, um, I'll do that and fit up the rest of the cooler piping. I wasn't meant to go to the drags tonight, but you know what? I just decided I'm going to do the cooler piping properly, do it all, do the inner cooler. We'll get the retune done, head to Nick's, then head to the drags next Wednesday. Fingers crossed that the, uh, the weather stays nice and it gets a little bit cooler. Um, and we'll see what she can get, and then we'll come back, obviously, valve springs, head studs, turbo, um, injectors, pump, everything. So that will be the 500 kilowatt final destination. But with this inner cooler on it and stuff, I'm expecting around 470, 480 wheel horsepower. Um, but yeah, obviously, we'll have to wait and see, and we'll chuck it on the dyno, see what it made originally. If it did make its 335 kilowatts, we're gonna find out. So um, let's get to cutting away the Rio and then we'll fit up the cooler and see you back then. Cut what I've needed to. Might be a little bit hard to see, but I have cut back to the line there, sprayed it all up nicely. Um, if you let me angle it down. As you can see, no more lip. So that means without me tripping, that the cooler should fit up. So right now I'm gonna fit it in, bolt the two bottoms up and then work out with the top brackets. But let's see you then. Ooh, 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 man, oh man, she is looking absolutely mighty. Now, just gonna put the factory little bracket on and work out what I gotta to make to go there. Or if I can just have a bracket that goes straight from there to there and on this side too. I do need to kind of pull this cooler a little bit forward. Like there's a bit of room here. It's just the wiring that's kind of going to get in the way. But if it does, worst case, I can just unwrap it um, and just use my self-braided tape, which will make it thinner and it'll do the exact same job. But um, let's whack these brackets on, see what I need to make up, see what I need to whip up, or see if I've actually got anything that can literally go straight from there to there and uh, get this bitch all nice and sturdy. So I've made up some brackets here. This is how it was at the start. I found these around and I've made it like that. And this basically will sit behind there like so and on that bracket there and then that will actually push this inner cooler a little bit more forward to give it uh, yeah, a little bit more room at the back here. Clearance wise it's good now but if you can just go a little bit more, I'll feel better about the situation. So, gonna bend this a tip more, drill that hole where I've marked, put a self tapper in that, and put a bolt through there. Alrighty, so I've just blown all the silicon joiners out and all of these pipes, so I'm just gonna piece all these together, and then we're just going to chuck it on the Falcon and get her ready to go. Alright, so it's the next day, and I decided I'm going to spray these brackets because, um, yeah, don't like the look of them at all. So, so all sprayed up, all looking nice and fresh. So, let's go chuck them on the car.
it's all fitted up for the final fit everything's clamped down everything's good everything works the bumper fits on perfect you know, I'm just going to shove it on. I may have to cut up the Rio, but I'm going to fiddle with that. Uh, not the Rio, like the plastic Rio support thingamajig. And um, actually before that, I might put the new headlights in. What do you think? Yeah, headlights first. Yeah, headlights. Alright, let's do that. <laughs> Alright, so let's open up the... Uh, the resistance, the genuine Ford headlights. It's gonna look so much better. Actually going to make the car. Oh, and it's even got globes in it. Yes. Oh, oh, does it come with? Comes with globes. <whistles> let's um, let's whack her in. So I just need to cut up this little panel here, about there, so that will sit back in its little spot back there and uh, should be ready for the bumper. Alright, cool. So everything's cut that needs to be cut. Now I need to pull these fog lights out because, um, yeah, they're very faded and ugly and they're not going to look very good with the new headlights. So I've got those. So let's um, pop them off, get those in. And then we can eventually chuck the bumper on, finally. She's all done, took her for a drive, no boost leaks, no nothing. Mate, these fog lights, these headlights, you now just makes a front end look a million bucks and the fact that the intercooler's all finally fixed and we're not gonna have any leaks and it can go back on the dyno and make some power. And then to the drag, so I'm super excited about that. It looks good, you know, it's gonna hold the boost now, it's not gonna be an issue. So we'll max out the turbo, max out the fuel as much as we can to still be on the safe side of things. Take it to the track and see what time we run. Now my apologies if this video was a little bit scattered. I, you know, I'm doing it at work. I was at work till 9 o'clock last night. I had a few distractions, had a few people come and pick up keys and whatnot. So I couldn't quite get everything that I absolutely wanted to. I'm not sure how this video is going to turn out, if it was good or not. But I was still going to post it. Um, yeah, so... On to the next video, tune time, back to the track, plenty of content there, super excited. So I guess we'll catch you then guys, so thank you for watching, make sure you like, comment and subscribe, we'll catch you in the next one.